The racing action started with the street stock race with Perry Bettino and Dwayne Wesselberg leading up the field with Brad Edwards and David Wood right behind them. Chance Atkins almost lost control going into the back straightaway, but he was able to save it. And it looked like things were going to go nice and smooth for the first few laps until on the second lap, Cameron Wesselberg lost control of his car and ended up spinning around, causing the first caution. We went back green black racing and Dwayne Wesberg had the lead with Perry Patino second and Chance Atkins running in third. Perry went a little too close right there and that started a chain reaction which ended up resulting in David Wood spinning out as Cameron Wesberg and Brad Edwards just barely got by him. That was definitely a close call right there. We went back green black racing and Perry Patino had the lead over Dwayne Wesberg with Chance Atkins running in third. And running in fourth was Brad Edwards and David Wood. But eventually, Dwayne Wesselberg found himself on the inside of Perry Bettino, and he would take the lead. And he would also bring Chance Atkins in the number 17 alongside with him. Perry continued to fall back as he battled David Wood for the third place spot. Side by side they battled, but eventually David Wood would end up getting the upper hand. Things would only get worse for Perry Bettino as David Wood made the pass on him. As Brad Edwards was getting to make the pass on Perry, he went in too close, lost control of his car, and ended up spinning out again. Another tough weekend for Brad Edwards. On the restart, Chance Atkins and Dwayne Westbrook were leading the field. David Wood found himself working into the second place position. The two teammates, Dwayne and David, were battling and out for the lead. Side by side they went, and David Wood moved right into the lead, going into turn number four. Then the next caution came out when Bubba Nesbitt blew his tire out as flames started to shoot through. We went back green by racing and David Wood had the lead with Dwayne Wesselberg second and Chance Atkins running in third. And right at the end, David Wood was able to hold everybody off with Dwayne Wesselberg second and Chance Atkins coming home third. Quite a race for the street stock division. Then next up, it was time for the mini mods. Off the start, Ash Ashley Bridgman had the lead in the number two machine, but then Derek Moore shot up to the lead in the black number one. Then Chris Leiners, who came up a bad week of blowing up the previous, ended up getting the lead and he brought Joe Collier alongside with him. Jeremy Williams also had his hands full with Chase Bradlin, who was working his way up through the field as they battled side by side for the third place spot. Then the first caution came out when Floyd Brown and the 48 lost control. On the restart, Chris Landers and Joe Collier battled side by side for the lead. But then Joe gave a little tap to Chris Landers and that sent him and Chase Bradlin around. They would have to fight their way back up to the front if they wanted to win the race. On the restart, Jeremy Williams and Joe Collier led him off. Jeremy Williams got the advantage. As you can see, he got a little loose right there, but he was able to hold on and save it. But not before Joe Collier worked his way to the inside and was able to take the lead away. Then Chase Bradlin made a go for broke move as going into turn number one, he went three wide with Chris Landers and Jeremy Williams for second place with Chase Bradlin coming out on top in that battle. Then he ran on down Joe Collier and made the move on the inside and he was able to take the lead away from him. But the racing action would not stop there as Jeremy Williams, Joe Collier and Chris Landers bowed for the second place spot Joe Collier would end up falling back two spots as the white flag wove. And at the end of the day, Chase Bradlin took home the checkers with Jeremy Williams coming in second and Chris Landers coming home finishing in third place. Then the open sportsman was ready to rock and roll as Joe Bethay Jr. and Justin King led up the field. They bowed side by side for the most of the race, but eventually Justin King got the upper hand. Joe Bethay Jr. also had his hands full with the number 21 of Jason Furrow running in the third place spot. And Chris Wagner found himself working into the spot as well as he passed Jason Furrow for second place. Then we had the first caution come out when the number 59 of Shelby Roos ended up hitting the wall protection. Going back green flag racing, Justin King had the lead with Jason Furrow and Chris Wagner battling side by side for second place with Chris Wagner gaining the advantage. And Chris eventually worked his way past Justin King and was able to take the lead. And it was just enough for Chris Wagner to come out on top in a very impressive victory. Then after that, it was time for the open wheel modifieds to rock and roll. 
off the start. Donald Crocker had the lead with Jim Wall running in second, but then Donnie Hamrick was working his way into the mix. Donnie eventually worked his way into the second place spot. Then the first caution came out when Billy Melvin and Parker Pugh ended up making a collision. Going back green black racing, Donald Crocker had the lead with Don with Donnie Hamrack and Jim Wall battling out for a second. Donnie eventually had the advantage and then a caution came out for debris. On the restart, Donnie Hamrick was able to take the lead from Donald Crocker with Jeff Ledson running in third and Johnny Brazier running in fourth who ended up having the fastest time earlier in qualifying. Donnie Hamrick had a sizable lead until we had a battle for second with Donald Crocker and Jeff Letson. Jeff Letson was not going to give it up, but then he ended up getting passed by Johnny Brazier for the third place spot. Then Akasha came out for debris once again, as you can see the piece of metal right there on the racetrack. Going back green flag racing, Donnie Hamrick was in firm control of his lead, and then suddenly Parker Pugh ended up hitting the wall protection after a tire ended up going down on him. Going back green flag racing, Jim Wall and Jeff Letson were battling it out for one of the top positions in the race. It was for third and fourth. Meanwhile, right at the end, Donnie Hamrick was successful in taking home the victory with Donald Crocker second and Johnny Brazier finishing in third. And finally, to end off the night, we had Rocky Harkar performing some of the most spectacular stunts. One of them when he ran right into the trucks, as you can see, all the carnage. He definitely gave it all he had for the great fans at Montgomery Motor Speedway. But then right here is where he made himself his mark. Right through a flaming car. It was absolutely phenomenal. Definitely one of the most unforgettable nights at Montgomery Motor Speedway.